Hey, thanks for watching, and if you like what you see, there are many ways to support the channel. The easiest is to just subscribe and hit the notification bell, that's a big help. There's a Patreon which gives you access to the MIB Discord server and other goodies. And I was invited to join Cameo, so if you want me to shoot you or someone a shout out, you can find me there. There's also a merch store on Zazzle, and more plushy toys coming soon from Gimme Swag, including clickbait. And last, there's our ongoing affiliation with Baiyi.jp. I talk about it a lot because it is an amazing service. I use it all the time to shop from Japanese stores and bid on Japanese auctions. Baiyi handles the language barriers, the currency exchange, and they get me my goodies from Japan. If you sign up using the link in my description, it supports the channel. And you instantly get 2,000 yen to start your shopping. Even if you don't use the service, make a free account and hook a brother up. But you should use the service. Thanks for sitting through these announcements, because you're totally dead, right? And enjoy the show. Playtime! Yay! <laughs> well, it's spooky season, and that means it's time to start thinking about costumes. Now, you may not know this, but I'm somewhat of a big Godzilla fan. But how can someone like me go as the Big G or his friends for Halloween? I've got you covered with today's video, a guide to official Godzilla costumes and masks that have been released over the years. We won't get to every costume and mask, but we're gonna get to a lot. And I'm gonna start with this Talking Godzilla mask by Jax Pacific, made to coincide with the 2019 release of Godzilla King of the Monsters. It's got straps in the back and a lever to push with your chin to open the mouth. And you really gotta open wide to get the roar going. And if you want to roar with blue lights, open even wider. My jaw is killing me. Now I know how your mom felt. Overall, it's a good mask, a lot of fun, but you'll definitely exercise those facial muscles with this one. How come you can never give Elsa from Frozen a balloon? Because she would let it go, let it go. But decades earlier in 1996, Microgames of America released this Godzilla sound mask and he is smiling. He's got a strap too and some cushioning, but also an audio cord that connects to this sound box that says Godzilla. It's got four sound effects like this roar, This mask is a lot flatter and maybe even a little terrifying. I look like children conjured me up in a campfire story. So let's check out the sounds. This is a stomp, I think. A roar, obviously. Oh, shots fired, you got me. And this is the sound you hear when you leave a Macy's but forgot to pay for something. But there's also voice changers. Hello, I am Godzilla. This is really changing my voice a whole lot, huh? Oh uh, no, they say I got to go. Go, go me. Let's try the other voice. Malfunction, malfunction. I think you two are on you. You wanna play a little blade, Sydney? Here's a cute Godzilla mask from Japan, it's from 1991 and made by Takara. It's a basic mask, no sounds, no cushions, a stupid long string. This mask would fit around Modok's head. It's got arms, what a strange feature for a face mask. Now I'm a four-armed Godzilla. You'll also see that this mask fails to cover my sexy Buzz Lightyear chin. Also, it moves all over the place when I talk. Talking, this is not fun. Hello? Hello? Here's another mask from Japan, and so far I'd say it's the best looking Godzilla face yet. It looks good, but it still moves everywhere when I talk, and it gets all unaligned. Scryonk! Scryonk! Visually great mask. In practice, not awesome. Speaking of vintage masks, I already did a close look at the Ben Cooper Godzilla costume from the late 1970s, early 1980s. Here's another look, but for a deeper dive, check out my video on this one. Let's talk a little bit about costumes for Godzilla's greatest foe, King Ghidorah. 
1965, to promote the American release of Ghidra, the three-headed monster, this King Ghidorah mask was available as a giveaway tool for TV personalities, radio hosts, retailers, and supermarkets. It's a simple piece of cardboard with a strap in the back for the middle head, and it gives you the appearance of having all three heads, with the word Ghidra written twice. Flash forward to 2019 when King Ghidorah returned to American theaters in Godzilla King of the Monsters, and this latex mask became available. It's like three heads for the price of one. When you zoom in, you can see a net on the middle head's throat that allows you to see through, technically making this a King Ghidorah hat if you think about it. But never mind King Ghidorah, can I just be this ripped guy for Halloween? They say the veins on his arms are a perfect roadmap of the New Jersey Turnpike. I have a different licensed King Ghidorah costume from around this time. This Ruby's costume where your arms make the other two heads. Okay, this could work. This is sad. This doesn't work. It look it looks sad. This mask and it's a mask. The hands have these foam prints on each side, but your human hands can sneak through to hold your beer. Uh, uh, Do I look like King Ghidorah? Leave a comment if I look like King Ghidorah. I'm gonna take a Halloween party by storm. What do you mean you don't know who I'm supposed to be? I'm King Ghidorah. You know, from the popular movie Godzilla King of the Monsters? No, the 2019 one. No, I'm not the dragon from Dragon Heart. King Ghidorah, doesn't anybody remember me from Pee Wee's Big Adventure? There are other costumes from the 2019 film, like what in God's name is this Ruby's Rodan mask? I mean, I guess it looks like Rodan from the movie, but with just this mask and a black t-shirt, will people even connect the dots? Without context, it looks like a sculpture made out of hamburger meat. Mothra fares a little better. I feel like you could tell it's Mothra, or at least a pissed off insectoid. Maybe you could say you're the Mothman. If you don't like this Mothra mask, I want to warn you that it could have been a lot worse. This isn't Mothra, this is the Predator. This guy's eyes are not helping dial down the cringe. He's looking right through the monitor, directly at you, and he's saying, Tonight, while you're asleep. Look at this Godzilla mask that came a little later. This is an adult Godzilla full overhead mask, and look at this. Yeah, this mask is huge. I look like a bobblehead of Godzilla. I can't get my hoodie over it. This is what MIB looks like in 4K. The inside's roomy, so at least I'm not suffocating. I could hide a beer in here. Although seeing through this thing is not easy, no wonder Godzilla just lumbers around clumsily. But look, it even has some foam inside for comfort. I think the biggest question is, why does the inside of this smell like cinnamon? I bought this brand new and I feel like I'm in a Cinnabon. At least it's not this mask where Godzilla looks like a dolphin. Probably most popular is the inflatable Godzilla costume. It's got this switch box which turns on a fan that keeps your costume inflated like a balloon. You wanna see? Zipping this is a pain to do alone, but I've established multiple times I have no friends. Almost got it. Almost there. Let's turn the box on. Look at me, I'm the Stay Puffed Godzilla. There's a lot of room in here. I feel like I could fit a date in this costume and a fan would keep us both cool while we're doing the hippity dippity. This is not a graceful costume. I feel like I'm trapped in a balloon. I don't know how it looks from the outside. Do I look like Godzilla? Leave a comment below if I look like Godzilla. I got these big thunder thighs. And a big old tail in the back, of course. This is the kind of costume you wear when you show up to the party, and then you immediately take it off. Like you can't eat or drink or poop or do anything with this on. Let's get it off. Where's the zipper? Oh God, my claustrophobia. I'm trapped! Oh, sweet freedom! I'm in the King of the Monsters inflatable, but there's a slightly different one for Godzilla vs. Kong. Actually, it's surprising how many different inflatable Godzilla costumes there are. Look at this one, it's more of the classic Godzilla. I like this one a lot. And here's a children's one. If you want a little Hobbit Godzilla waddling around. Of course, Kong got his own inflatable suit as well. 
If people say you're dressed as a regular gorilla, be sure to direct their attention to these three slashes on the chest. Hopefully then they'll know you're Kong and not think you're a monkey who had a fight with Wolverine. Look at this child Kong costume. It's not bad at all. Maybe in the distance I might mistake it for Chewbacca, but up close, I'd say it's a good Kong costume. This kid's really selling it with these poses. There's also this Kong costume for kids with the open mouth. I prefer the other, but this one's not bad. Here's a Godzilla costume, and maybe you're wondering why it's so small. Well, that's because this costume is for dogs. Yeah, you're up, Andy. It's Poodlezilla! He's got a Godzilla head, which my dog hates, but is only tolerating at the moment because I'm bribing him with cheese. Roar! The body has sleeves for the front paws and a tummy strap. Look at this poodle tail wagon under the Godzilla tail. This is a good costume. It's by Ruby's, and it's still available this year. You could argue the next piece isn't a costume but apparel, but then you'd be a pedantic virgin. It's the Godzilla zip-up hoodie. Yet another release from Ruby's for King of the Monsters. I look like the Gimp from Pulp Fiction. Anyway, if you're not big into costumes, but you want to be Godzilla and also stay warm, here's a hoodie that zips up all the way past your face. No, I'm not trying to rob you, I just need another beer. Uh... Speaking of staying warm, it's a onesie of Chibi Godzilla. This is the biggest size they had, and it is small and tight. Look at how high the legs are going up. There's also something weird about Chibi Godzilla not being chibi sized. Here's an adult Godzilla, and it is hot in this one. The back looks great, but the head looks so dopey. This is Dopezilla. Godzilla looks depressed. At least the legs reach and the tail is nice. Let's flash back to the year 1998 when Tristar's Godzilla ruled America. And that means a kid costume. Look at it! The head is a hat. With your face underneath it. I can't. I can't. Let's go to the next one. Go to the next one. Let's do something more modern. Last year, Super 7 released three masks of Toho monsters in the style of the vintage Ben Cooper type masks. They have a vintage vibe, which I love, and great boxes, too. I like the Godzilla head, but what I don't love is the inclusion of the neck. It just looks like a neck that goes nowhere. The face is very flat again, which I always think is unfortunate when they need to flatten Godzilla's snout. It's an okay mask, very tight, right on my face. But at least it stays put when I talk. I can talk and it doesn't move. Here's the Mechagodzilla mask in hand, it looks great. Again, there's a neck. I really wish there were no necks. Mechagodzilla is not comfortable to me. It's really pressing on my eyes, which is not a good time. And also, of course, I see everything as red. So, this one's really hurting vision across the board. Of the three, my favorite is Hidora. It looks good, and it wears pretty good. Wearing it with clothes, I think I look like a character that would legit appear in Ultraman or Kamen Rider. All three masks have color variations, like in this one, Godzilla's head is green. And they also have variations that glow in the dark, which probably look really cool. Again, there's more out there that I'm not going to cover today. Maybe next time. Although, I feel like there was one more Godzilla mask I wanted to go over. You forgot me, you dope! Whoa! It's the channel's original mascot, Godzilla, in a robe with a sailor hat. It's been how many years since we've seen you? Too many! I used to run this channel until your bootleg face popped up. Your face is the classic 1960s Godzilla. Can you see all right? I can't see shit. No wonder you retired. Well, there's that joke for you veteran viewers of the channel. Tell me which mask or costume you liked the best in the comments below. Hey, can you make it rain for the patrons? Yeah, okay. <laughs>